Hello there, original travelers. Welcome to our best of Brussels video, the beer part. So, me and Simona, we love beer a lot. We love beer so much that we actually founded Zurich Beer Tour a couple of years ago. And now we're also traveling the world and want to show you the best spots for beer around the world. And this time here in Brussels, a country, Belgium, that is known for good beer. And you could even say it's the homeland of beer. Sorry, Germany, we like your beers as well. This is going to be in the next video. All right, so let's go and explore the beer world in Brussels. And as we're in Belgium, it is finally time to grab a beer, good beer. Not that we didn't have beers yesterday, but now we're going to a really special place called uh, Mother Lambic, which means in English Mother Lambic. Lambic is a Belgian sour beer, which we will tell you a bit more in one of the other spots we're going to visit called Cantillon. Anyway, this bar here has over 40 beers on tap and a lot of specialty bottles that you can't find anywhere else in the world. They even have special blends of some beers that are specifically made for this place. So I would say we go in and have a cold one. We decided to go for Fufun, a lambic beer which is brewed with apricots. The basket Sandro is using to pour is needed so that the sediment in the bottle does not get mixed with the beer, which would change its taste. Cheers! Our next stop is an absolute must if you're a beer fan in Brussels. The next stop on our beer trail is the Edium Cafe, which is famous around here, but they also have different locations around the world, so not only in Brussels. They have more than 2004 beers, and for this accomplishment they also hold the Guinness World Record. We also celebrated our New Year's Eve there, and we had a lot of fun. You'll see some footage of this. The Lirium village consists of several bars combined in one place. All of them have a different vibe and beer selection. Be careful not to get lost, as there are many staircases that look pretty similar to each other. The bar in the cellar is the one with the biggest beer menu, so be sure to make your way there. It is also very easy to find new friends like those guys supporting Sandro, opening our New Year's beer. The following day we made our way to our third stop using the metro to the colorful Clemenceau station. Now welcome to an uh, actual brewery here in Brussels called Cantillon. Um, they are really famous for producing a specific type of beer which is called Lambique and this is really specifically produced in the Brussels area even though the only actual Lambic brewery in the city of Brussels here in the Anderlecht uh, municipality is Cantillon, where we are at right now. And yeah, this is a really old brewery. They opened up in 1900s, they're a family owned business. And I would say we go inside now and see how those how our beers taste like. Cheers. You can also take a brewery tour, which is really informative, but we decided to go straight to the bar. Cantillon exclusively produces the already mentioned Lambic beer, a style that originated in Toyotan land, the southwestern part of the Brussels region. You can find a link to our blog post about this and other sour beer styles in the description box below. This time we ordered a Lambic beer brewed with Gorilla Pepper, which was originally brewed for Cantillon's worldwide Zwanze celebration. Sandro also did some shopping. Look at that happy face. 
So, fellow travelers and beer geeks, we arrived back at airport Brussels, so we make our way home and obviously we gotta have a beer here as well. Uh, these were some of our favorite beer spots here in Brussels, uh, so thank you for watching this video and... Don't forget to subscribe or hit the bell for notifications and see you in our next video. Cheers! Our beer bonus tip for Brussels is the Pökenele Kelder. Sorry for that pronunciation. The name translates to theater puppet seller. This bar is right next to Mannequin Piss, but there is sure a lot more interesting things to see inside the bar. If you want to learn more about Mannequin Piss and other things to do and eat in Brussels, be sure to check out our other videos. <laughs>